And here we are 20 years later. I'm Kimberly Wells Adams. Today marks 18 years since my first date with my husband. When, oh, that's sweet. Where and what was your first date? Oh, well, that oh, well that's easy. It wasn't a date at all. We were both at someone else's birthday party that they threw for themselves, really. Yeah. Um, and that person had tried to set us up with each other, but we thought that we were so different from this person that neither one of us would actually like the other. And uh, at that party, everyone was very tall. <clears throat> a lot of tall people at this yeah. party. And John likes to say that we saw each other. Among a sea of knees. Among a sea of knees, because we were the only short people at the party. Um, and we met right before Christmas. And from the night we met, we were on the phone. I'm not saying every day was a cherry orchard or, you know, apple picket or anything, but from the night we met, we have been on the phone or together in person every single day since the yeah. day we met, which is 20 years ago now. Yeah. 20 years. And here under quarantine, nothing's changed. We're together every single day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and here we are 20 years later. This is from uh, Heidi Spillman Weber. When you go out to dinner, do you critique every meal like in the back of your mind or can you simply sit back and enjoy it? No, I don't overly critique anything. Uh, most cooks and chefs that I know are just happy uh, to sit down and have anything from scrambled eggs to a good hot dog to a beautiful, uh, elegantly prepared, meticulously mastered masterpiece of a meal. I mean, John and I have been to arguably the greatest restaurants in the world, literally, and they were really special experiences. But we enjoy sitting and having a dog or a pizza. We haven't been to a restaurant in four months. Four months. About four months, so. Uh, but I, I remember that we didn't overly critique any of them. We were just happy to be there. As long as service is given with a whole heart, don't you agree, John? Yeah. I think more about the service. The only thing I notice if I'm eating out is if the server doesn't want to be serving because I grew up in the business. So I guess I'm sensitive to that, but I'm not overly critical about food at all. Okay, this is from at CJNPWR. What's Rachel's guilty pleasure to eat? You know, I like have no guilt when it comes to food, period, obviously. Okay. Uh, but I find it so funny that people associate certain foods with guilt. You know, you don't have to feel guilty about uh, a potato chip as long as we eat in moderation. I understand what it means though. Um, okay, I'm not playing the game right. Let, let's, let's try and be more. Okay, something weird I haven't done in a long time that I used to love to do when I was a kid, like literally like 12, 13, take Triscuits and microwave them with cheese on top till the cheese melts. That sounds good. Like a crispy mini grilled cheese. I don't know if I felt guilty about it. It was good though. Microwave Triscuits with, with cheese. <laughs>